Cancer, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. This is the general weekly taroscope for your sign for this week ahead. Um, I hope you're well. Um, as always, the housekeeping is down below along with the subscription uh, button if you so wish or are inclined to um, to, to follow the channel. Sorry, my cat is sat behind me and he's trying to push me off this sofa. Um, if you hear any cars or birds or anything or noises, I've got my door open to my room because it's spring sunshine out there and we've had rain all week. So I thought it'd be nice to have some sunshine and some fresh air moving through the room this week. So let's see what we have for you. We have the lovers. We are in Gemini season. This is the card of Gemini. Cancer, this is a, a choice, a far reaching. It has ripples. There's a car look. Um, it has far reaching repercussions and ripples. That doesn't mean you can choose to not to, to reverse the decision that you make, but you won't go back to exactly where you are now. There will be um, effects and consequences of making that decision like if we leave a job we can't go back to that exact job necessarily but we can go back to a job in that field if that makes sense um there's a choice between what is easy and, and what is hard and the way that this card is depicted it has the fire and ice the red and the blue the fire and ice kind of kind of energy and the fast is quick moving and it gets the job done it gets to like the minimum it gets it cleared and done and you get the result that you're looking for quite quickly but there is another option which is so it can the, the ice is slow moving like we think it's solid but ice can move there is an element of ice being able to move and it moves slowly um and it takes its time and it but it it can carve out entire gorges entire chasms entire canyons it just takes thousands of years instead of like a quick fire going over the top it will clear it out but the glacier is, is slower. Somebody's got a cold as well, by the way. Somebody's got a cold this week or a cold on the way. Anyway, I can smell a cold. It's my superpower. But anyway, we've got, um, yeah, so you've got the ice and the ice moves slowly, but it, it has a greater effect. As, as slower, as, because it's slower and it carves its way through the fjords or through the wherever the glacier's moving, it moves slowly. It does move, but it goes slowly, but it carves out great chasms. It has a huge impact so it's kind of like you can have this quick wham bam yes easy method or you can go the slower harder route but oh my god it's going to have such a bigger effect a bigger payoff a bigger consequence a consequence can be positive or negative the word consequence is actually neutral we just uh as as people attach a negative connotation to a consequence but anyway it's an effect it has an effect it has a greater impact that of, of taking that harder route there's a bigger payoff there's a bigger reward there's a bigger um contentment there's bigger uh, more potential to the harder route it's just whether you're prepared enough to take that harder route this week cancer or whether you're going to take the easy route the only thing i would say is before you make this decision it's major arcana before you make this decision you really need to get all the information surrounding it how much commitment is going to as much information as you can in order to make a fully formed decision whether the quick and easy route is right for you um but i kind of feel like the quick and easy route is to stay exactly as you are that this ice movement is going to be hard effort and but it's going to be worth it but it's hard because it's getting out of your comfort zone it's get it's retracting back your shell cancer effectively i mean you are the crab it's about showing the underside it's about knowing that you might have to build an entirely new shell because that's what crabs do for 10, 11 months of the year they have this hard shell and then for one month of the year they have to kind of get rid of that old shell because they need to grow a bigger one they need to expand they need to reach more of their potential they need to grow but for that one month they are vulnerable and i kind of feel like this is that time like you're about to release your shell do you stay in the shell that you're in and stay a little bit smaller or do you have are you bold enough to let your shell go for a month so that you can grow a bigger newer one and expand growth is scary and um, it leaves you feeling vulnerable and sensitive for a while until you're actually in the groove and you're like, do you know what? Yes, this is the right thing for me. I'm expanding. I'm growing. The growth zone isn't comfort. You go out of the comfort zone in order. So it feels like this is the comfort zone, staying as you are, and this is the this is the the growth zone. It's about taking a deviating from the path that you know. But that has a, a, an element of vulnerability. We have to be uncomfortable in order. If we're in the comfort zone, we're not growing. We're just as we are. We have to get out of that comfort zone. We have to be a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit vulnerable in order to grow and expand and reach that potential. And I kind of feel like that's your option this week, Cancer. Stay in the comfort zone or be bold enough to take a detour, to turn off the road that you're currently on 
and follow that path you know you're supposed to really the harder path the more vulnerable the potentially more painful yes there's a bigger potential for a bigger risk there's a bigger risk to it that there's the chance of loss but oh my god the payoff is so worth it as long as you're committed to making that work and taking the precautions that you require which is why you need to get all the information so you know need to know as much as you can to be prepared for this harder path that's that's what you need to do you need to research that other path in order to know if it's the right one to take but oh my god it's so worth it i hope that is of some use to you this week cancer hopefully i will see you again next week bye for now